Hi there, it's Nick Dutch back on the camera again one more time. Hi there, how the heck's it going? This is a rather peculiar video response to a rather peculiar video. The Asia Turunen, I think could be the pronunciation, I don't know, has done this rather eulogistic video entitled Self-Nurturing Soul Food Morning Rituals Can Profoundly Change Your Life. And I like it. You know, she's speaking about having positive ideas and positive thoughts like going into your mind and like getting positive things as a direct result of that. Um, an improvement to your quality of life and the things you start bringing into your life and getting over like big bad problems as a result of basically what you're putting into your mind. Uh, I do agree with this. I agree with this quite strongly. I mean, there was, there was this time in my life in which I had this like intense anger. And I couldn't quite place my finger on what it was that was causing this, like, intense anger. And this was, like, shortly after I just moved into this place. I was listening to The Prodigy. I got cable, really good cable. And I could listen to all the music on demand I wanted to because, um, you know, that it was so cool. And I'd gone for, like, the, you know, the, the top package so I could have access to all this, like, really, really cool, like, musical entertainment because... <laughs> Yes, you know, first time in my life I've actually got access to like really cool stuff for the for you know for a big change. Um, and I was listening to the Prodigy, I was listening to all this like punk music, I was listening to a lot of very angry music. Uh, and then there was me thinking to myself like, why am I feeling so angry? Now, the moment that I made a conscious decision to stop listening to angry, violent music and start listening to something that was a little more tranquil, even though I it didn't you know it, it wasn't even music I enjoy. I would, I would deliberately listen to music I didn't enjoy, but, but actually had the right kind of effect upon my nature. I initially got a bit frustrated because I had to adjust to this music I didn't like. But on the other hand, my attitude, my character changed. Uh, I also started thinking more, you know, with the passage of time, as to how ideas have affected me. Uh, I mean, I could be someone who wants to find out nearly everything, okay? You know, the world is wonderful because it's so full of knowledge, so full of information and ideas and art, science and beauty and stuff, you know, there's just like stuff to learn. Um, all the technological and political stuff, that's fascinating as well, especially for, you know, for someone like me, I, you know, I want to just absorb it, you know, I just um, send out my sucker into the universe and draw it into me, you know, which, which can be a bit difficult because a lot of the a lot of the good information that's out there in the world um, can be a little frightening. A lot of the bad information that's out there in the world can terrify your witless, okay? And so that's one of the reasons why I sort of like went a bit paranoid at the, the one particular phase because, like, you know, there was too much information, too much overload, and not a slower, more analytical approach to the information itself. So, yeah, the, the ideas you put into yourself actually can bring you back into balance or can set you off rack completely. There was even a time when I started to watch the, um, the series Heroes. Not because I wanted to. I knew it would be rubbish in every possible way and I was not disappointed. But it was quite fluffy, friendly rubbish, okay? It wasn't, you know, just like immersing my mind in, you know, aggression and, and watching shows about people who go around killing people and stuff like that. It was actually, uh, you know, very simple, uh, very low-resolution characters, very two-dimensional or one-dimensional characters with very one-dimensional ideas, which wasn't really written in a very uh, intelligent style. Um, I wasn't really acted brilliantly either, and but it was a hoot. Okay, it was it was enjoyable, and I watched that to deliberately calm myself down. All right, we are very blessed these days because we're surrounded by tons of information. There's all of your TV channels, and there's more TV channels now than there has ever been. There's the internet where there's, uh, you know, the blogs, the videos, um, audio broadcasts, you know, you, you know the, the quantity of information which is out there for you to consume or latch onto is broader probably than any time in our history. And thanks to the internet age, okay, 
it's much more readily acceptable, uh, sorry, readily available, even though it's not necessarily easy to search for at times because there can be so much other rubbish higher up the higher up the scale and so on and so forth. Okay, but it's out there, and so what you put into yourself can have an effect on what you become. Now. This particular video by Liege Turenen might seem a little nauseating to some people, but to me, this is a woman who's got some serious points. Okay, you got to think about what you put into yourself in order to think about what you get out of yourself, and that involves, I mean, that includes things such as the rituals and processes that you go through in your daily life. I'm going to leave a link to her video down below because I think the, it will be worthwhile watching it and I think it will be worthwhile following this individual because I think that although you may not, you may or you may not appreciate her style of delivery, she's got a lot of wisdom and perception there. There's, a, you know, there's, there's much more to this character than meets the eye and I think it's worthwhile taking some of that on board. Not all of it, but some of it. 